Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can update MongoDB database with the Node.js. First of all, we will create a new file for update data so that we can create a completely separate file for our updating data code. After that, we have to import MongoDB connection from our configuration file. I told you in the last two videos also, we basically create a separate file for database configuration so that whenever we will uh, make a separate file or separate function for uh, uh, perform any operation with the database, that time we can use same code of database, right? So we will just create this uh, configuration file once and we can use it in the multiple files. Previously, we used the same code inside the index.js and in the insert.js also. Now we will use this code with the update.js. All right, after that, uh, we, will up, uh, we will learn that how we can update single result and uh, multiple results also. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions related to this video. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more Node.js and MongoDB videos. All right, so first of all, I am creating here update.js file. And now we will import our database configuration here. So let's take a const db connect and we have to load our uh, db connection here and this is basically coming from mongodb.js file here you can see that we are actually exporting the db connection from here and we import it here after that let's create a function and let's say our function name is update data and uh, let's just simply create it a uh, arrow function so that we can make it async whenever we will need and let's call it update data now let's take a let with the name of data and just simply print here db connection function and how we can run it we can just simply run it with the terminal so whenever we will run it you will find that this is basically return a promise so how we can resolve this promise? Obviously, we can use here. Uh, 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 why this is taking too much time? Oh, uh, sorry that actually we did not uh, console something here. So let's uh, let's console here data. And now you will find that it will return a promise. So how we can resolve it? We can simply use here await. But we cannot await like this. We just need a async function for that. So just simply put here async now it will return the complete uh, information about database like uh, database name collection name and all and now let's take a one more uh, literal with the name of let's say result and uh, just simply use here data dot uh, update and whenever we will just uh, use update function we have to take here two objects one where we want to pass our condition like which condition we want to update so let's say we want to update where our uh, mobile name is max 7 right so just simply put here name max 7 keep in mind the uh, capitalization like small character and uh, uppercase character should be matched completely and after that let's create a second one object also let me just uh, uh, format this code so that you can understand it easily right this is our first one object and now in the next line let's create a second one object here what information we want to update so let's we want to set the information and let's say we want to update here name so take a uh, object name and it can be let's say max uh, pro 7 right and after that if you want then you can just uh, print this result and now you will find that data is actually updated so now let's wait for the result here you can see that it will still return a promise because uh, update data dot update actually return a promise but that's okay it already updated our data here we can see that max 7 pro right so how we can handle this uh, 
promise we can just simply put here await keyword and let's say we want to just uh, update some more information so now let's say you want to update uh, not six right so just simply cancel it and now provide here not six and let's change it let's say not pro six or something right and now you will find that whenever we will just print result we will get that acknowledged true that means there is a no error one count is modified one count is matched and now you will find that our one record is again updated great so there is a one more function so let's say uh, you have a three records with the same name max one max five actually repeated in the three time so you want to just update only one record then how will you update it for that you can just simply put here update one it can be an interview question in they can directly ask that so let's say we have uh, multiple names with the we have multiple same name then how we can update only one record so that the answer will be we can just use the update one function so now let's put the condition max five so let's put here max 5 and let's say we want to change it max pro uh, 5 and whenever i will just save it you will find that it will only update one record now there is a second question also so which record will be updated first last or with the middle the answer is first record will be updated here you can see that we got the max 5 so let's say how we can up, uh, update a multiple record so if i am just use this update then it will update a all matched record so uh, let's say we want to update two columns so how we can do do that just put here price let's say one thousand dollar and let's save it now you will find that modified two count match two count and here you can see that max pro we have two result as a uh, updated with the 1000 price so that is all about that how we can update the record with the mongodb in a node.js application thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and provide your review comments